method in Java. So method has set of statements to be executed to perform some specific tasks. What is method overloading? Method overloading means same method name but with a different parameter list to perform some particular task. There are two ways to overload a method. First one is by changing the number of arguments. Second one is by changing the data type. Data type. Discuss about the programs. In this programs, class followed by the class names is here. We are having the two methods. Uh, two methods are the the method has two parameters. Another one, the method has three parameters. Uh, in this program, we are having the two methods. Two methods have same name, same name, uh, but with a different parameter list. One method have two parameters, another method have three parameters, but uh, the method name is same. So next one is, uh, we are creating another classes. In usually, uh, uh, in Java, we are having the public static void methods. Within the main methods, we are creating objects for a particular classes. Here we are creating objects for the additional classes. Uh, how do you create an object? There is a format to create an object. Class names, object name equal to new class names. By using, uh, the, we are following the format. Class name is addition. Here it is an object name equal to new class names. A is an object. Uh, in Java, usually, uh, how do we call a methods? By using object only, we can call a methods. So, through object, with the help of dot operator, dot operator, we are calling the method. And method have two parameters. So, 10, 20, that, that, that value is assigned to the variables. Uh, here, uh, so, what is the value of the return? So, 10 plus 20, the that is. The output the that will be returned back to here. Next, we are calling the uh, using the objects, we are calling the other method, same method name, have till have three parameters values. So um, what is method overloading? So same method name but different parameters. Based on the parameter list, the corresponding method will be called automatically. So we, in this statements, uh, have two parameters. Method will have two parameters. That method will be called. In these statements, method have three parameters. That will be called automatically. So it is a method overloading uh, by, by changing the number of arguments. So next one is another programs by changing the table types also. So here also we are having the same method name but uh, have two parameters for this. So another method is uh, as uh, add, have the same, both are same name, have two parameters for it. But uh, data, type, uh, data type is different. Here we are using the float values, float A comma float B. So by changing the number of, uh, by changing the data types, we can overload a method in Java. Okay, next uh, we are creating another classes. I have the public static void method. In this method, we are creating objects. Uh, what is the objects? Object name is yes. Through object only, we are calling the methods. Uh, we are call, we are calling yes dot add methods. We are, here we are passing the integer values. 10 comma 20. When you call this methods, the value assigned to, assigned to a and to b. So the result a plus b. So 10 plus 20, the that, is, that is returned back to here. Next, we are calling the same method name through the help of objects. Here we are passing the values float values 10.5 comma 20.5. So based on the parameters values, the corresponding methods will be called automatically. Here, a value, a value is assigned to 10.5, b value is assigned to 20.5. So what is the output of this program? 10.5 plus 20.5, 31. The result 31 is return back to here. In this program, by changing the number of arguments, so we can overload a method in Java. In this program, by changing the different data types, by using these data types, we can overload a method in Java. Thank you.